The last warm days of mid-September, the stone crops bloom splendidly on flower beds and gardens. Bees are very happy to fly them, however, due to little or no pollen efficiency, the workers are exhausted which results in shortening the life of the foragers. Now the last day of September, the Cordovan Queen enjoys the first forages raised from eggs, which she laid a month ago. The golden color of chitin allows them to be distinguished very well from other workers. It's 17 degrees. Bees perform observation flights. Some of them bring pollen, much needed at this time of the year. Currently, bees are no longer able to replenish their winter stocks alone. This is due to the lack of continuity, and only the periodicity of mass flowering plants. To survive require human help, this bee colony in September received 5 litres of inverted stock. This is the last bottle of their drink. Bees arrange supplies in a quite characteristic way. This is extremely important for overwintering in conventional hives. In observational, however, it is much less important. The colony shown in the film can be treated as a longitudinal section of an ordinary hive. It is the middle of the day, the bees have already put up supplies, fly around, few bring pollen, and the rest of them feed on the bee bread and heat the latest brood. The top of the frames occupies a closed supply of food. In winter, bees approach from below with the rising air heated by the worker's metabolism. If the stock was downstairs, they would not have access to it during the frost. Below is the rest of the pupae surrounded by supplies. You can see the elliptical shape of the raising area characteristic of the low frame. This space, in ordinary beehives, will fill as a sphere of the overwintering bees. The lowest frame is occupied by supplies of unripened food and bee bread. It is extremely important for bees in any period of the year, but especially in autumn. Thanks to bee bread bees become long-lived and can survive to the spring. They eat large amounts of it, but not as before, to feed the larvae with royal jelly, but to build a protein fat body of their own organisms. The diagram shows the distribution of bees and stocks in a weak family, weak even for the conditions of the window beehive. The stocks were arranged from the top and rear forward of the hive. The colony and the wintering congregation of bees are tied above the entrance to the hive and the front. During wintering, it will move just up and slightly backwards with the warm air generated by the sphere of bees. A similar scheme with the arrangement of stocks can be seen in a much stronger colony. Here too, the supplies are at the top and the back, on the opposite side to the entrance, but bees and mother will bind the sphere very low, on the two lowest frames. The heating of the pupae and feeding on the bee bread are still there. Bee queen lay eggs, however, after a significant cooling that took place, they are eaten by the workers. Thanks to this, the bee colony will save supplies and energy that it would use to raise the next generation, which will have no chance to prepare for winter.